morning everyone and welcome to Writing for Tuesday. I was thinking to get our brains ready for writing, we could do some letter and sound practice together. Are you ready? Numbat nibbling, mm, mm, mm. Numbat nibbling, mm, mm, mm. Orange octopus, oh, oh, oh. Orange octopus, oh, oh, oh. Long ladder leaning, ooh, ooh, ooh. Long ladder leaning, ooh, ooh, ooh. Soft snake sliding, s -s -s. Soft snake sliding, s -s -s. Crocodile crunching, k -k -k. Crocodile crunching, k -k -k. Ben's big boot, b -b -b. Ben's big boot. But 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 ants in the apple ah 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 ants in the apple ah 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 umbrella up ah 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 umbrella up ah 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 rabbit reading er 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 rabbit reading er 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 good job we might do some more of those later in the week as well. Now let's go check our learning intention and success criteria. We are learning that writers use words to describe. Our success criteria is, I can write three sentences starting with I can see. This week in writing, we're focusing on using describing words. Describing words are words that you can use to help your readers imagine what you're writing about. They help make your writing more interesting and add lots more detail to your writing. Let's have a go at using describing words together. Let's try and describe this plant. Have a look at it. How might you describe it? Imagine that someone else can't see it and they have to draw it. What could you tell them about it to help them draw it? You might say that this plant is dark green. It has dark green leaves. The leaves are also spotty. Can you see that? They've got little spots on them. So you might say this plant has dark green spotty leaves. Those words dark green and spotty are describing the leaves of this plant. You might even feel it. It feels a little bit prickly. So you might say that this plant has dark green spotty leaves that are a little bit prickly. Now have a think about how you might describe this xylophone to someone who can't see it and can only read about it in your writing. You might tell them that it's colourful. It has lots of different colours on it. You might tell them that it's loud when you play it. This is a loud and colourful xylophone. Do you see that it's a bit shiny if I do that? So maybe we'll add the word shiny. This is a shiny, colourful and loud xylophone. Today we're going to keep practicing using our describing words by finding our drawing from yesterday is mine, and writing some new sentences about it. If you did a marine habitat or a desert habitat or any other type of habitat, use your drawing from yesterday. I'm using my bush one, but you can use whichever one you did. I'll show you now how I do my sentences, and after that, you can have a go at doing your own. So here I've got my picture of my bush habitat that I did yesterday. You can see I've got my labels with my describing words and next to me I've got my word list, my alphabet card and my common blends and diagraphs chart just in case I'd like to use them while I'm writing. So up here I'm going to write three sentences about my picture. I'm going to use the labels that I did yesterday to help me do my sentences. 
the first sentence I want to write is I can see a furry koala. So let's start up here with the word I. Here it is. I. I can. Let's listen to that word can. What sounds can you hear? K -a -n. Can you hear the k sound at the start? C. So after our finger space, we do our C. K -a, A. N. 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 I can see. S, our finger space, and our S for S, and then E. That's a long E sound. Remember how two E's make that long E sound? Let's do two E's next to that. I can see. I can see A. There's our A. I can see a furry koala. I can just copy this label over here for furry koala. Furry. Koala. And at the end of my sentence, I put a full stop. I can see a furry koala full stop. Next, let's do I can see a tall tree. I can at see a Tall tree. Here it is. Tall tree. I can see a tall tree. Full stop. There we go. That's two sentences. Let's do our third one. I want to write, I can see a bubbling stream. There's the word bubbling and stream. I can k -a -n -c -s -e -a bubbling here it is. I'll just copy that one over here. Bubbling. New word, finger space. Stream. And a full stop. I can see a furry koala. I can see a tall tree. I can see a bubbling stream. All of my sentences start with I can see a or I can see a. When you do your sentences, you can start the same way. I can see a and then put down what your label was in your picture if you like. You might also want to imagine what else you can see in your bush habitat and add those things into your writing. Just make sure that you use a describing word each time that you do a sentence. In my writing, I'll put a squiggly line underneath my describing words so that it's clear for you. Furry is a describing word, it's describing the Koala, 
Tall is a describing word. It's describing the tree. Bubbling is a describing word. It's describing the stream. Thank you for watching the video today. Don't forget, try and use your describing words in your writing to make your writing really interesting and to make sure that your readers can imagine being in your habitat. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.